Hi, this is James Wiebe with CRU. Today I want to show how you can image from SSD modules, specifically M.2 and MSATA SSD modules. What you see in front of you is a set of adapters that we do sell as an option with Ditto. In the upper left hand corner you see an M SATA to SATA converter card. Below that you see a PCIe M.2 module adapter and on the right hand you see a PCIe slot adapter that we'll also use. Let's start by taking a look at the MSATA adapter module. The MSATA adapter module allows you to insert an MSATA card and simply remaps the pins to a standard SATA connector. In that manner, you can do write blocked access of any MSATA module using any conventional write blocker tool, including Ditto. Below that, you see the M.2 adapter module. It has a couple of slots. In the top slot, what you see is uh, also a remapping tool. If that M.2 module is supporting AHCI, what that means is it really has a native SATA port built into it. That particular slot simply remaps the M.2 module into a standard SATA connector. Once again, you could use Ditto or any other write blocker to access information directly off of that card using the SATA port. But below that is the M.2 NVMe adapter slot. What that does is connect the M.2 module to the PCIe bus. If it supports NVMe, that provides a high performance scalable access to the memory module that we can access through the PCIe slot. And as a result, you can mount volumes directly off of the M.2 and image from them right blocked through these adapter modules and the PCIe slot on Ditto. On the right side is the slot adapter, uh, which simply allows us to put a PCIe slot, a conventional card connector, into Ditto and plug these options in. Let's go ahead and put them together and show you how you use them in conjunction with Ditto. What you see in front of you is the PCIe slot adapter with the M.2 adapter module plugged into it. We've also gone to the trouble to insert an M.2 NVMe memory module and we're securing it into the card using a special forensic rubber band. Let's take a look at the features of the setup. On the left hand side you see the M.2 SATA adapter. That simply means that the M.2 module is using the AHCI spec which is providing a SATA signal. The board brings that out to a SATA connector and allows you to connect that to a conventional write blocker or to the Ditto SATA port on the source side. Then on the right side of the adapter board we see our M.2 NVMe module plugged in. That is providing a connection between the NVMe module and the PCIe bus. That can either be a single lane or a four lane bus. In the case of our original Ditto, it would be a single lane connection, and in the case of Ditto DX, that would be a four lane connection for improved speed. After you've configured the NVMe module and the various adapters, it's time to connect them into Ditto. One big point, when connecting PCIe source side input into Ditto, it's important that the Ditto is powered down. Failure to observe this precaution may result in damage to your evidence or to your Ditto or memory module. So power down the Ditto before plugging things into the PCIe slot. After inserting it, it's time to power the Ditto up and Ditto will go through its normal boot process. Let's take a look at the home screen of Ditto and see what's happened after it's booted up and we've logged in. First of all, you can see that the NVMe module has mounted and it's showing up as a normal source device. If we go in and do a hex view on it, this particular case the drive is empty and we simply see zeros. Just like any other drive, we find that we can image from it, hex view it, or preview it. In other words, it's just a source media volume and it's available for us to image from like anything else that we want to take a look at. Some final notes. What we've done today is we've taken a look at some adapters that allow us to plug in SSD modules, specifically M.2 modules, into Ditto using the PCIe slot. Doing so provides us with write blocked access. We've learned that these M.2 modules are available in two different interface styles. One is AHCI that supports uh, a SATA connection and can be plugged directly into the PCIe bus. The second type is an NVMe module, which is a little higher performance 
architecture uh, that is also quite common. In that case, we've been able to plug it in and access those volumes as well using the PCIe slot adapter and adapter cards. Final note is that uh, that PCIe slot will also support external RAID adapter cards. So if you need to image from a RAID, you can do that using the same slot. We hope you've enjoyed the instruction today. Ditto is powerful, allowing you write blocked access to solid state M.2 modules. Have a great day.